And now, your live Doppler 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Boy, it was quite the windy day today. Check out some of this footage. Those windmills were really turning around there. And even look at that street sign shaking around too. I even heard reports of some siding blowing off some houses as well as a couple of lamp posts down across the area. So even the birds having a hard time flying there. So quite a windy day. Rather annoying really when you walk outside and have that cold wind blowing on you. Check out some of these peak wind gusts today. Lafayette. 52 mile per hour peak wind gust today. Frankfurt 51 miles per hour. Rensselaer 47 mile per hour wind gust. And Logansport 43 miles per hour. Right now the winds are still howling out there. They're not quite as strong as they have been. 31 degrees the current temperature. So that wind's really ushering in the cold air. You can see gusts lately here right around 43 miles per hour. And temperatures all across the region in the lower 30s. And they're going to continue to fall overnight into tomorrow as well. Even Tuesday looking very cold. And here's what's responsible for that big time cool down. Here's this really strong cold front sweeping its way across the eastern half of the nation. Now what it's doing, it's picking up a few snow showers and flurries here from Lake Michigan. And we saw some of those flurries and snow showers across the region and they reduced the visibility for a little while. That's because the winds are whipping the flurries around really heavily. So visibility may be reduced as these flurries continue overnight. Futurecast timing them out. Now I think I agree here with Futurecast. Most of the flurries and snow shower activity, sh activity should be focused here to our northeastern counties as that's kind of the direction the wind's taking them right now. And low temperatures tonight across the region, much chillier than we've been seeing for the beginning part of the winter. Winter 17 in Rochester, 18 in Monticello, 19 degrees here in Lafayette, and a little bit warmer, 20 in Pence, and 20 for your low temperature in Attica. Now, future cast tomorrow morning, all the way through Tuesday morning, you can see the flurries and snow showers still trying to stick around as we still have that wind. It's not going to die down until maybe Tuesday afternoon, so we may have a few flurries and snow showers throughout the day Monday. You can see by 12 p.m. we're only going to be at 22 degrees and those winds are going to continue to howl out of the northwest. Now 5 p.m. I think the flurry should start to calm down just, just a little bit. We'll be right around 25 degrees for your temperature then. Tonight, again, much chillier than we've been used to. 19 degrees for your temperature, northwest winds, uh, 25 miles per hour, gust up to 40. Tomorrow, again, not too bad of a day, maybe a few flurries there, but it's going to be cold and the wind's going to really be hitting there hard. And you can see the seven-day forecast. We're going to keep flurries in there. Now, Tuesday morning, I don't have a chance for flurries, but they should start to wrap up by that time. And no, that's not a mistake. That is a nine for the low Tuesday morning. Yeah, single digits in the, on the way, so it's going to feel like winter. But we warm it back up midweek. Wednesday, we go up to 36, 42 on Thursday, and we continue to climb to the beginning of the weekend, 46 on Friday, and we stay dry all through the seven day forecast. So, no big snow chances here in the forecast, but we do get a taste of winter finally. Finally, maybe if you're if you like that sort of thing, you know, I love the <laughs> snow. I'm not a big fan of the bitter cold, but I love a good snowstorm. Well, we'll see if you're singing the same tune when we feel that nine on uh, Tuesday. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. Thanks.